Okay. Today we're going to talk about uh, lighting with LEDs and doing PWM type stuff and why some of the things that you may have noticed about your lighting are the way they are and things that we can do about it. So, here. First off, let's talk about uh, the response of the human eye. So it's easy for us to say um, If, uh, if we're using an 8-bit pul pulse width modulation, let's say we'll go here to 255, right? So we've got 8 bits, and the first thing we want to do is, if we plot this on a linear by linear map, we'll do this if we go through 0 to 255. And we think, oh, well the brightness should be um, linear across there. But if you notice this guy that I've got going up here, he does get brighter, but then he hangs, and it doesn't seem like he really, I mean, it's getting brighter, but it's getting brighter slowly. And the reason for that is that, um, see, here we go, it gets really bright really fast, but then it gets brighter, but slowly brighter. And the reason for this is that the human eye has a logarithmic response, which means um, it's a sort of compression, if you will. A small values here rapidly e increase in value, but then they flatten out like this. So, if you were to take this response, this logarithmic response, and plot it on a log lin curve, which I've done here, which one is it? Maybe I haven't done it there. Anyway, yeah, here. This gives, so this is the exact same thing that we just showed, but here I've put it on a log lin curve. And so this would be the response of the human eye, similar to, to a linear input on our PWM machine. So, what's the inverse of this guy, of a, of a log lin? Well, if I want to make this response uh, so that it looks like it's increasing linear to the eye, I need to put in an exponential response. So an exponential input, I'm sorry, combined with a logarithmic output uh, gives a linear response to the system that has the logarithmic receiver. So we'll show this here, so if I use the natural logarithm, I see that it comes up here. Let's see right here, it's titled e to the x lin lin curve. So that's what we would call an exponential response. And here is the log lin plot of that. And you see it's pretty dang linear. So what's that mean? That means we want to approximate a uh, exponential input to our LEDs to give us a perceived linear change in brightness. So the problem with that is if I use a pure exponential curve, the value goes from 0 to 1, 3, 7, 20, 55, 148, and then off the scale. So there's only including black, seven uh, possible inputs. And so if I instead, if I kind of cheated and went to uh, uh, 255 instead, then I would have eight inputs, uh, so what, four bits to be able, in fact, three bits to be able to control my brightness. And that's not a lot of resolution. So what we might do instead is an approximation of this that has closer steps. So. Here is what I'm using and regularly use is this not quite an exponential curve, but you notice that the log response is pretty straight. So that means that if I put this response in, I'll get uh, a fairly linear 
perceived response to the eye and I'll get 14 steps with it. So I start at 0, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 12, 18, 27, 41, 62, 93, 140, 210, and then, you know, if I want to add one more, I can go up to 255 or something like that. And the way we get to here is we start at 0, then 1, and then we round up 1.5 times the previous number rounded up, so 2, then becomes three, then becomes five. Five is one and a half times three, which is four and a half, rounded up, five, eight, and so on. So how does this all work in practice? Well, here we are. You're gonna see this. So the order is, right now we're going through the zero to 255 as a fairly linear thing, getting brighter and brighter. And I have a piece of paper in front of the lights to keep them from being too obnoxious. Then we're gonna see there was the exponential response, and now here's 14 steps of my customized, not quite exponential response. So we'll let it go through one more time. There we go. And uh, one last thing is that 1.5 response to the human eye is uh, also very nearly, as I understand it, a perceived doubling in brightness at every step. So uh, it's very useful for displays as long as you don't need more than uh, 14 or 15 bits, uh, or 14 steps going to uh, full range on an 8-bit. If you're going on a, say, a 16-bit number, or a 12-bit number, or a 10-bit number, you can go at, on a 10-bit number, you can get 18. Um, so anyway, that's it. Done for today. Goodbye.